Hey guys, welcome back. Actually, this is a picture. It's about this bad. Yes, guys. If you think there's one problem is over, there comes the another problem in this bank. I don't know why. And the same news, what you can expect. Yes, guys, the credit rating they have again given by uh, also India rating has given the credit rating. Now, let us see about this, guys. So, before seeing this video, if you are new to this channel, then make sure. You click the red button below, yes guys, subscribe my channel for more videos like this and I hope you like this video a lot and don't see, I mean, don't miss this video, see this fully so that you could get the knowledge about this credit rating guys and moving on, they have given that press release on ratings by India ratings and research and they have given that what is the main matter to this note guys, they have given India ratings has maintained S yes Bank long term issuer rating on, in, I mean NDA on rating was negative and long, withdrawal is short term issuer rating of India A1 in the instrument wise rating and they have given this basal 3 tier 2 bonds, additional base bonds and influencer bonds they have given that all are maintained on rating watch negative and there is not been any further up movement or further downgrade I mean there has been a downgrade but there has not been in a, in a more negative way than uh, rather that was given before guys and the further information why this rating was being done they are given that the agency continues to await developments on s bank equity raising that means the agency is waiting for the further capital raising which the agency of opinion is critical for providing sufficient cushion before credit cost impact the assessed asset pool what is credit cost in order to get the loan i mean in order to get the return back on the loaners or the loan takers the cost they involved is being increased which is showing on the stressed asset they have and they also given that all to the liquidity position of the bank seem to be adequate at the end of September 19 but if it gets more I mean if it if I mean, liquidation is around 114 percent the India believes that in absence of any shift capital raise it could get much difficult and it seems that the bank continues to be in remain in discussion with various potential investors However, the, however, believes that the rating could be renewed again in February 28. Then why, then why they are doing with this guys? And see this point is again clearly they have given that if the capital raise currently, they will again review in February 2020. Then why now? I mean one month. I mean I mean just three days more right for February. And February 7 if they raise a capital, they will again release the rate. Then why for this case? I don't know why they are doing with this. Because they are, I mean, because of this, people some way thinking that it's negative news and they are spreading down. Last week only SBA chairman said that we will not let down Yes Bank, we will not let, let down Yes Bank. And one of the latest news regarding Yes Bank, even that India ratings have downgraded and they have reviewed in 2020. Can you see tomorrow? Many people come and say credit rating is being decreased. So it will it will create a panic and sell investors itself. So big place will come and buy. So this is what happening in his bank and they have given that what are the key rating drivers delay in capital raising uncertainty in quantity and timing yes guys as we know first of all spgp holdings was being adjusted but already 2 billion gone and 1.4 billion gone are they given that but the it has deal of 500 million is going to be approved and they have given there is a favorably finalizing the board as you can see here an additional decision comes to be made in the 500 billion by Sitax investment is being considered by the board and you should see that the furthermore the bank exposure top 20 exposure to the equity decreased to 23x 2.3x in half year 20 from 2.5 there has been a point to decrease in the top two consideration and they given that concurrent credit migration in certain exposure as we know that a business model could evolve settle at lower non-interest income levels and this is because these informations are given because as you know guys, S Bank has given loan to various companies which are no longer insolvency. For example, Anil Ambani Group, Cox and Kings which have been in the low level, Reliance Group and these types of companies which they have given loan has been showing a strong pullback in it. I mean, strong pullback in the sense they are showing a negativeness in the loan they have given and the liquidity, I mean, liquidity indicator is not uh, positive or negative and they given that rating sensitive they are given that the rating negative indicates the rating will be either affirmed or downgraded i mean what they are trying to say means rating under watch rating under watch as you can see here the rating under watch 
will be affirmed uh, that means there will be increased or decreased then why the they are doing in this case i don't know why they are doing because of this they are uh, they are being doing this means it is very very bad and the final thing they have given also said that how the rating has been decreased and this is the final thing they are given to get and they are given that what could make this uh, rating they have given that subject to certain limitation and disclaimer and which is not uh, code of conduct applicable so these all things matter a lot to S Bank guys and you should note that uh, people after seeing this are losing hope in S Bank and we are still positive on S Bank and we are always settling on S Bank in the target of 53 rupees the reason is that it is not over guys it is just a beginning and as we already said no bank in India will definitely close because of capital issue we have the abundant capital and the abundant investor but the timing matters yes guys as you say it has been past 6 months the final capital has been raised yes guys I am accepting it but the way of terms and conditions very very matter before accepting that capital so how this news will impact the future you can ask me guys there are two things if you are holding a long term position in this share guys then wait for your positions to get rewarded because once this capital issue is being raised and the capital issue is being done then this share cannot be stopped by anyone and you know the share price was around 400 rupees before this issue has been came and now the issue has been solved and we hope this bank will definitely increase in future there is no risk in holding it if there also risk if you are risk taker then hold it guys so if you are not a risk taker what you should do sell on the highs so guys the second thing if you have bought at high price what to do buy your gifts and third thing if you are not entered this stock planning to in, enter this stock so what should you have short what should your idea be to those people who are not entered this gift my idea to you is wait patiently wait and buy your dips and as you know guys february 7th is a deciding date for this bank and the new shareholders, our shareholders of Yes Bank, 16 lakh retail individual shareholders should approve the capital raising of 10,000 crore guys. Our bank is in our hands. Now you should be able to approve this so that Yes Bank would be able to maintain its future guys. And this is about Yes Bank and this is this video about Yes Bank. So if you like this video, then make sure you share this video friends and don't fear because of these ratings, all will happen good. And see another video very soon guys.